everybody, LC back, and today I will be reviewing a mock in my room. Another mock called not Akimu. I know it's it's Makuta. Always get their names mixed up, but fudge. So this is Makuta Ultima. Ah, he fell. He fell. What, what's wrong? What's with my grammar today? He has a blazing blade. Structural, hard, like, functional legs, functional fingers, functional bending arms. His shoulders don't move that well. I mean, wait, yeah, they do. What am I talking about? And, and he, I used the mask of control for Makuta here. Because I did get Umarak the Hunter. I did get a few of the new series. I only got... The Creature of Jungle, Umarak, and Kopaka. Kopaka and Mellow. You're the set. Yes. Yes. I made these two arms kind of look the same. I mean, I wanted them to look similar. It's kind of like on a Kimu over there. I'll do a size comparison a little bit later. Because I used blasters to hold them together. And over here, I just used those regular pieces. I have no idea what the pieces are called. I should look it up. It makes me sound more professional. And these these claws, I mean, those horns are not really attached to the head. But, yeah. There is the frontal body. I'll give you a moment to look at it. There you go. And now, I'll show you Akimu next to him. Sorry, little awkward silence there. Well, this is a Kimu, Titanus, and I should call this guy Titanus because he, he just seems more Titanic. Like the Titanic. Well, yeah. I gave him a blade for him the last time, but like last time, I will not get off topic. I used drill pieces for the arms. By the way, this is the third time I had to film because I kept calling him a chemo and him Makuta. Okay, so I'm not going to not going to mistake it. Structural strong legs, strong legs. Mask of control, mask of creation, blades, all that. He's a big beggar. Makuta looks a lot more intimidating, don't you think? Well, I can't have time to see the back, because when my phone gets it three minutes, it crashes. I'll see ya! Bye! Bye, Capodres!